Well, uh, Armenia and Turkey is uh, <clears throat> working now in the framework of process of normalization of relations, and we support that. And uh, we publicly uh, stated that we support Turkish-Armenian uh, normalization, and you probably know that Armenia has territorial claims not only to Azerbaijan, but also to Turkey, and definitely this issue also <coughs> must be addressed. You know that the um, national symbol of uh, Armenia is uh, mountain Agridak, which they call Ararat, which is situated in Turkey, which I think is uh, absolutely unacceptable. And uh, my personal opinion is absolutely wrong to send such a message to uh, their society. I remember that the previous president of Armenia, Sergik Sarkisyan, once was asked at a meeting with, I think, some young members of his party or something like that, that now we liberated Artsakh, so-called. So what about Western Armenia? That's how they called, and some of them still called, Turkey. What about our lands, when they will be liberated? And he said that we did our job, and this is up to you to do it. So this is not something which I invent. This you can find in the internet. That's what he said. And that's what they sought. And uh, this is, I think, the biggest tragedy of Armenian society, that they really thought that they can uh, separate that part of Turkey from Turkey and adjust it to Armenia. So they overestimated themselves, and this is the biggest problem. Now they want to normalize, and we support it, but they need to get rid of all these attributes. With respect to Azerbaijan, they need to change their constitution. And again, I'm saying that not because I want to interfere into the affairs, but but because in their constitution, they have a reference to the Declaration of Independence, which says that Nagorno-Karabakh, so-called, is part of Armenia. So how can we sign a peace agreement when they have in their constitution such a reference? So when I say you need to change constitution, not because I'm arrogant or I'm just uh, trying to be rude, no, because it's a precondition. The same, I think, should be changing of this uh, national symbol, the mountain, Agredah, must be changed. They have a lot of mountains in Armenia. They can put, if they like, another one. <laughs> but as far as I know, as far as I know, uh, they, they, of course there is a coordination between Azerbaijan and Turkey on this issue, as well as on many other issues because Turkey and Azerbaijan, I think, on global scale, are the two most close to each other countries in the world. And not only the alliance declaration which unites us, but a lot of things which unites us. And it's important factor of uh, regional security and stability, I mean, Turkish-Azerbaijani unity. And I know that uh, there is an established position in Azerbaijan and in Turkey that two processes must go in parallel. Turkish-Armenian rapprochement and Azerbaijan-Armenian normalization should go in parallel. This is our position. Also, this is the position of Turkish president. Uh, and uh, in could be ideal situation that at one day they can be signed two agreements peace agreement between Azerbaijan and Armenia, and normalization agreement between Armenia and Turkey, with opening of all communications, and putting an end to a decades-long uh, hatred, and uh, turning the page and uh, uh, starting a normal development. What we hear from uh, Yerevan officials, yes, we take note of that, that there must be a difference between real Armenia and uh, mythological, yeah? 
they call it historical, but I would call it mythological, because history should not be a subject of manipulation. So they created the myths about the history. Uh, they, um, how to say, incorporated in the history historical personalities which uh, never had any Armenian ethnic roots. So this is a historical manipulation, and they, at what point they started to believe in all those mythology. That was a tragedy, because they created mythology, they wanted the world to believe, and they, they started to believe themselves. And when they said that young generation of Armenians will take Turkish territory, that was a uh, degradation of the serious psychological disease, not only of Serge Sarkisyan, but also of those who listened to him and those who asked him this question. So now, what we expect, that Armenian government will move from words to actions, and we will judge them by their actions, and uh, they need to understand that the Turkish-Azerbaijani alliance is uh, as solid as a rock, and they need to take that into account now and in the future.